Hi there and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So we just got through a really nice rain here and for the over the last 24 hours we haven't had rain for almost a month so we really needed the moisture and I got thinking about my garlic that I've uh, have here in this area that I've been kind of drying out I haven't been watering it and I think today is a good day to start pulling it out see what we got and I'm going to show you how I cure it and store it for the winter so just to give you an idea of what we're looking for here this is one of my uh, first ones that I just pulled out so it's not looking like they're going to be too super huge but I do want to show you kind of how I've been growing my garlic the past couple years and how it hasn't been really working too well for me and why. So after we get this all harvested, I'll talk to you about my new plan for next year for my garlic and how I'm going to be setting up a different area, a different method for planting my garlic. I'm going to talk about what garlic I'm going to be planting for next year and hopefully uh, this is going to give me a better crop and much bigger garlic bulbs. So what you see here is pretty much the extent of this year's garlic crop <laughs> and you're probably thinking why would you even make a video about this there is hardly even any garlic growing here. I think probably about 50% of my garlic didn't come up this year. I'm not sure why. But this area here has been kind of my perennial bed for strawberries, asparagus, garlic. I mulch it really good in the fall and I have some really good soil going here. But I'm constantly battling a hedge of choke cherries here that are sending out suckers all the time. And then this year with all the moisture we had in the spring and in June, the quack grass has just gone crazy. So let's have a look and see what kind of garlic cloves we ended up with here. And then we'll talk about the plan for next year. So I normally in the fall plant about two to three dozen uh, garlic cloves. I don't grow a huge crop of them, but this has just kind of been a nice area that has worked well for me to grow garlic but like I said this year a lot of it didn't come up so when you see that some of the leaves are dying off on the bottom here that's a sign that your garlic is ready to be harvested I did a quick video about a month ago cutting off the garlic scapes which you see here I've missed on this one so normally we cut those off in about mid-July when they show up just so that the plant starts focusing on developing the bulb further these are good for cooking if you wanted to leave a few of them on your garlic and let them go to seed and see if maybe you get some volunteer garlic coming up the next year you could try that as well i haven't ever done that so i'm going to start off with what i think maybe might be one of the biggest of my garlic here so i do a hard nick version i think these were the red russians I purchased these from a local garden store and actually this one looks pretty good so you want to make sure you kind of dig around and loosen the soil so that you don't just rip the roots at the bottom I like to use my hori hori knife here and then just kind of lift it up so that one's looking a lot better than the first one I pulled up so that's a really nice looking uh, garlic bulb you should also stop watering your garlic you know for a few weeks before harvest I was a little worried when it was raining today and I've kind of left this a little longer than normal but I think these are all looking really good Not bad. So here is the final harvest of my garlic bulbs for this year. And I only ended up with a dozen, which is not that great. I'm pretty sure I planted a couple dozen. And if you recall in my video from last fall and this spring, I tried to plant some of these garlic bulbs in a 30 gallon tub 
which you know sat on top of the ground they were down about six inches into the tub i covered them with leaf mulch but they did not survive the cold of our winter and we had a pretty mild winter this year last year so i know that that method is a fail and i did not work and i just wanted to show you the soil here it's a really nice area here with lots of organic material i've mulched it every year and tried to keep the quack grass out but as you can see i am constantly dealing with roots and suckers coming from the choke cherry trees here so one thing i have done is i purchased another garden bed from the grow box company and i'm very excited to get that because I'm, I'm really loving the one that i have so far this one is going to be a lower one i believe it's only 11 inches high so it's going to be a little closer to the ground so I'll be filling it up with a really good soil mixture and planting my garlic cloves in it, mulching it with some leaves again. So being lower to the ground and making sure I have a good layer of mulch on it, I think these bulbs will be able to survive my winter and they will be well insulated during our really cold temperatures in the winter. So another thing that I'm very excited about is I'm going to be receiving some beautiful garlic bulbs from Jordan at Mind and Soil. I will leave the link to his YouTube channel below plus the link to his online store where you can also uh, pick up one of his garlic kits. I have one coming from him. Hopefully by the end of August I will have it and as soon as I receive it I can show it to you again. But he has some beautiful massive hard neck garlic bulbs um, in this kit. That I will be planting in my new garden bed and he also suggested you know I plant some other ones uh, just to kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison so I think I'll take some from this crop here that I'm just harvested and I will save them and use them to plant again this fall and we will see how everything does so as far as storing these now I'm going to just gather them up leave them as is for now and let them dry out for a couple weeks i'll just maybe bunch them up like this hang them somewhere where they can get lots of airflow but they're out of the direct sun so once these are good and dry after a couple weeks you can cut them off here trim down the roots peel off a layer or so off of the bulb here and they are ready to be stored away and used as needed. So I will be sure to do another video here once I receive my new garden bed from Growbox. You can see I have one here from Growbox and one from Sproutbox. Both of these are great garden beds. I just love them. You can just jam them full of so many things and they are just really easy to manage and I really think that that's the direction that I'm going to go. Um, the older I get, the more I really don't like crawling around on my hands and knees. Dealing with quack grass and weeds and stuff is always a battle around here. As you can see, I have my garden kneelers that I like to use. It really is a great thing for the knees and the back. Highly recommend one of those as well. So once again, I just want to thank Jordan from Restorative Garden with Mind and Soil for sending me some of his beautiful garlic to test out in my little garden space here on the Saskatchewan prairies. I'm really hopeful that it is gonna survive our cold winter. I'm gonna follow all the tips and tricks that Jordan always shares on his channel. And as I said, I will leave the link to his channel below along to his Mind and Soil online store. He's got some great products there to check out. And I'm going to take his advice and do a side-by-side -side testing with his garlic and some of mine here and we will hopefully have some great results in the spring. So I'm very excited to also share that I have started a little garden newsletter and I will leave the link to that in the description box below so that you can subscribe to that. I hope that you will join me in that group and find some value in reading some of the information that I hope that I can provide in a maybe bi-weekly or monthly newsletter. Not sure how much I will be publishing. So as always, if you want to help my channel, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and we will see you on the next video.